Okay, here we have a 2000 Nissan Frontier. And the guy wants to know if it's safe to drive. And check engine light and approximately how much it's gonna cost to fix if it's worth it. I didn't hear any timing chain rattle or anything. A little exhaust rattle noise. So I'm just gonna spin it. See how the suspension feels. He said it's lacking power big time. So I don't have much power at all. power he said his son drove it and it was uh, running real bad so don't seem to be running too bad right now all right I'm gonna take it about five miles and get it in the shop and see what we got going on front wheel bearing noise. Cut it to the left, it gets worse. Or no, cut it to the right, it gets worse. Left, it gets quiet. Okay, we have a PO325 knock sensor problem, bank one, and a PO440 EVAP system problem, small leak. And just from looking under the hood, the valve cover gaskets are leaking on both sides. You got a little leak around the power steering line there. And we got a little noise. Not exactly sure what that is at the moment. Put it up in the air, get my thesoscope out, try to pinpoint that. Okay, underneath we have uh, left and right front wheel bearings are bad. Um, Oil sending unit leaking. Of course, the valve covers are pouring down on both sides. Transmission pan seepage, not bad at all. Um, you need about one, two, three, four, five. Six, about six clamps on your exhaust to stop this exhaust rattle. Um, you got some oil here, which very well could be coming down from the valve cover gasket. You know, I mean, it's a possible of a rear main starting to leak, but I would address the valve cover gaskets and clean all this off, see where it goes from there. Um, you do have a coolant leak. That is coolant right there. I will have to find that up top. Your muffler is rusted out. Frame looks pretty good.
rear shocks are leaking a little bit. You see how that one's got all this build up on it and how it's wet right there. Now I want to lower it down, start it up and listen around down here with my thesoscope and try to find out what that noise was. Okay. Checking the coolant because we did have a little leak down there. The reservoir over here is basically empty. Coolant, liquid, refrigerant. <laughs> and a half gallon in the overflow. Now, with the mirror back here on the heater hoses, let's see, I don't know. I'm gonna be able to get you a shot of this. Okay, so we're following this heater hose right here, the lower one there. Down, back, and around. Okay, so following that lower heater core hose, down. Okay, the heater core hose connects right there to that pipe. If you look in my mirror. If I can get it to focus. See all that rust on that pipe? There's the rubber hose going on. There's the metal pipe. It's very rusty right there. Now I don't see anything dripping at the moment. And it's possible that it could be coming from something else back there. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do a pressure test because I had it running and up in the air and um, I found another way I could see that rusty pipe better from up through the transmission area on the driver's side. And I can see fresh coolant over here. It's actually dripping off of the back of the passenger head gasket. I'm not saying it's coming from the head gasket yet, but what? That's not sealing. Um, So because that rusty pipe was still dry, I've got to find out where this is coming from, see if this one works. There we go, that one will work. And hopefully it's not coming out of the head gasket. I don't want to put too much pressure on it because of that rusty pipe. Uh, we gotta find out where it's coming from. Okay. We have 16 and a half pounds pressure on there. Okay. Now I'm not real familiar with these engines, but it looks like it's coming, the coolant leak is coming from the lower intake gasket. Right there. So, that's where I believe it's coming from. Lower intake gasket. Now, let's see what I say we had while I go for pressure. 16 and a half, we are down to 10, 11, 12 and a half. 
So we've lost four pounds of pressure in five minutes there. Got a little puddle forming there with constant drips with the pressure tester on it. And it is dripping off of the bottom of the starter area, rolling down that off of that head gasket. And then over here is where I could see that rusty pipe real good. Let me let it down a little bit. I'm not going to be able to get a shot of that, but it does have a very small wet spot on it, it looks like. Let me grab my other flashlight. You deal with stream light out. Don't use that very often anymore. Yeah, one little bitty just not even a drop, but starting. So that pipe definitely needs replaced. But the leak is coming from the lower intake gasket. Okay, so I did confirm it's coming from the lower intake here on the passenger side in the rear course while we're down in there if the customer decides to do it we want to replace that rusty line underneath the lower intake knock sensor sub harness front wheel bearings rear shocks if they want um, oil sending unit, muffler, put some clamps on the pipes, heat shields to stop the rattle. And also, I did not get the uh, PO440 diagnosed. We'll need to smoke test the system and diagnose that. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day.